We're here now about 300 miles from the bay, and it's hard to believe that this could still be in the Chesapeake watershed. But the reality is, the quality of the water in the rivers and streams here can have an effect on the bay. By the 1800s, Pennsylvania coal was fueling the industrial growth of the country. Unfortunately, coal was mined with little thought of environmental consequences. Abandoned mines discharge water containing heavy metals, sulfates, and acid into creeks and rivers. The water then becomes so acidic that it can't support life. This water here looks very pristine and very beautiful, but it's actually carrying deadly minerals in it from the former mine that was here and carrying it to the Tioga River. In Mansfield, I met with a family who combined the running of their store with bringing life back to the streams of their neighborhood. Victor, a senior in high school, joined forces with the Hillside Rod and Gun Club in Gosberg, and as part of his Eagle Scout project, started an organization to clean up abandoned mine sites. Got me interested was that basically there was a need for the Tiger River to be cleaned up. There wasn't it wasn't being done, so I realized, you know, it needed to be and if no one would, you know, why shouldn't I? Our goal is mainly to clean up the Tioga River up to the dams right now. Perhaps when that's done we can move on to other things, but when that is done our main goal will be uh, fulfilled, that we have life back to the Tioga River. A lot of the mine drainage comes from up outside of Morris Run and uh, Vlossburg. That's where they did a lot of coal mining. There are the occasional streams and tributaries up down south that do support life, but when they mix with the acid mine polluted water, the ability to sustain life is eliminated. main thing is to fix the problem where it starts. We neutralize the acid and remove the metals before it goes on farther. That way you get more area of streams which can support life. Like a gauge. What goes in here heads right down to the Chesapeake. And they, they might not realize that. They see our river going north and then that's someone else's problem, but it isn't because it curves right around, goes down to Susquehanna, and into Chesapeake Bay. So everything we put in the water here works its way into the Chesapeake and affects their environment. So Paul, how's the community responding to the work you guys are doing here? 100%. Everyone is behind it. Because everybody yeah. in this area sees the need, you know, that it's right there, you know, they can touch it. You know, it's uh, very tangible for them. They see there's no life, and you know, they're, they're all in favor of bringing life back. There's no reason why they shouldn't. This gives us a chance to take care of ourselves as citizens of the valley. The government didn't come in and do it for us. We had to do it ourselves, or it wouldn't have gotten done. There are helpers, there are partners, but they don't initiate the action. We have to do that. We have to invite them in. And so inner feeling, really. You feel like you've done something. I know many people go through their lives wishing they had done something. People go through their life and never accomplish anything, and there's always that desire. They wanted to. This gives you the chance to. You know, it gave me a chance to do something, and really once you get a taste of it, it's not enough. You want to go on. You want to do more. It was his choice to follow a dream. First off, he had a dream, a which is fantastic trail. to begin with. But then to have enough, the word I guess, chutzpah, to just try to make it happen. And it doesn't matter how old you are, whether you're 10 or you're 80, being able to, to uh, have enough drive to, to make things happen is what's important. Yeah.